Welcome to Easy Limu Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. Uh, today I'll be taking you through the topic natural numbers within the subtopic writing numbers in words. So we want to see how do you write numbers in words. What are some of the, the principles that you need to follow when you are writing numbers in in words? So we will start by trying to explain to us what it means to write numbers in words. And then uh, we are going to look at uh, various numbers which can be written in words or how basically what are the principles we follow when you are writing numbers in words. And then we'll try to find some of the examples uh, to help us understand, just to take us through the process of writing numbers in words so that we're able to see how to write numbers in words. And then, of course, we're going to give us some assignment at the end of the lesson to at least help us gauge our understanding of the topic. So what does it mean to write numbers in words? Uh, basically, when we talk about writing numbers in words, we simply mean uh, how to say those numbers in English or whichever language that you want to use. So. Uh, English being the language of instruction for this lesson, we are going to talk about how do you say the numbers in English. So we have a very good example here. So when you want to write such a number in words, what you're going to do is So what you do is you group the numbers or the digits in groups of three, starting from the farthest uh, right end of the number. So from the farthest end on the right, you group the numbers in groups of three. So you, that's the first group of three. That is the second group of three. And then that is supposed to continue and continue. That pattern is supposed to continue uh, as long as we still have other digits. So remember, we are starting the grouping from the farthest end on the right. So the last group, the last group here, We'll just read them as they are. 101, just as that. Now, this second group here, we'll assume now the other digits are 0, 0. So what we'll do is that this second group, if it was to be, let's say, a number, like 2, it would be read as 2000. So this group here stands for a number. So you'll be reading as thousands. Thousands. So you'll be talking of 678 thousands. Remember, we are assuming that all these ones here are zeros. Then the next group, supposedly you reduced all this to zeros. You can see they have six, six zeros. So this group here will be treated as millions. So you'll be talking of 345 millions, 678 thousands. And then, of course, the last group, it is just read as 101. Just more or less using the, the same thing, place values, you see. So thousands, because the three digits there maybe could be standing uh, for three zeros. So if you reduced all of them to zero, so three zeros. And then another three zeros, so millions, thousands. So you read as 
six hundred and seventy eight thousands because of the next zeros here. See, six hundred and seventy eight thousands three hundred and forty five millions because there are six digits after that. So take note of what I've said. You first of all group the numbers in groups of three. So maybe two, four, six, three, one, two, one. So you group them in groups of three, in groups of three. So 300, I mean, 463 thousands. Because you can reduce this to zeros. Or this one, two millions, millions. So two million four hundred and sixty three thousands one hundred and twenty one. If you have a number like four, one, six, seven, eight, nine, one, three. Take note, we start from the farthest end on the right here, moving to the left hand side, but then you group them in groups of three, the digits. So the first three, the second three. So what remains there is 41. So how many digits do you see? Six. So supposedly you reduced all of them to zeros. Then you'll be talking of 41 million 678,913. Yes, and that is how you do it. That is how you say the numbers in English. So you can see the number here, 345, 678101. So the same thing, you group the digits in groups of three. So the first three, second group of three, and what remains there is another group of three. So 345 millions because of the six digits. So 300 and 45 millions because of the six digits after that if you reduced the six digits to zeros it will be read as million so 345 million and then 678,101 as you are able to see it right over there Now let's look at this other example. So remember what I said, you start from the farthest end on the right and you have to group them in groups of three. So the first three, 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 and of course you're having that. Now this one, you can see now the digits there are nine. So if you reduced all of them to zeros, you'll be talking of uh, Billion, a billion, a billion. So seven hundred and sixty-nine billion. Now the million is not there, they are all zeros. So you can say zero million. So there is no digit or zero. So there's nothing there. So you will skip this. But then you'll move to three hundred and one. So 301,000 and then 854. We are skipping this one here because there is nothing there. I mean, zero million, there is nothing. Zero, zero, zero. So you will skip that one. So you will just read 769 billion 301 thousand eight hundred and fifty four
So 769 billion 301,854, as you can see on the screen. So that marks the end of our discussion on writing numbers in words. Uh, should you have a question on the same, you should be able to write, uh, uh, I mean, indicate that on the comment section and you'll be able to respond uh, accordingly. So we have a, a question here to help you at least gauge your understanding of the, the same on our topic of discussion. So you can attempt and uh, put your answers on the comment section, you'll be able to look at them and respond accordingly. So write the following numbers in words, and the numbers are right on the screen. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.